This is Leopold and Loeb's chilling tale of arrogance and murder. The perfect crime. In 1924, Nathan Leopold and Richard Loeb, two exceptionally intelligent students from affluent families in Chicago, embarked on a chilling quest to commit the perfect crime. Fascinated by their own intellects, they believed they were beyond conventional morality. Their target was 14-year-old Bobby Franks, a distant cousin of Loeb. On May 21, 1924, Leopold and Loeb lured Franks into their rented car, claiming they needed his help with a fake tennis racket repair. Once inside, they struck Franks on the head with a chisel and killed him. Following the murder, the duo attempted to ransom Franks' life, sending a letter to the Franks family demanding money. However, a pair of eyeglasses found near the crime scene led investigators to Leopold. Under intense questioning, Leopold and Loeb confessed to the crime. The trial, sensationalized in the media, captivated the nation. Clarence Darrow, a renowned defense attorney, represented the duo. Darrow focused on pleading for leniency, arguing that Leopold and Loeb's actions were a result of psychological abnormalities. Despite the defense's efforts, the judge sentenced them to life in prison for the kidnapping and murder of Bobby Franks. The Leopold and Loeb case remains an infamous example of the dangers of unchecked intellectual arrogance and the pursuit of a twisted notion of perfection.